started back in in 1976 and we was doing the Volkswagen the VW mm -hmm. and uh, they had the the pop top that we put on and uh, it was had a little simple refrigerator you know and a little porta potty and it's just something they might plug in they didn't have all of this inverters and uh, TVs and this type of stuff mm -hmm. and they just wanted something simple to uh, to drive into a campground and or pull off someplace and camp and that was it so why what, what do you think uh is causing all that like are you thinking people are using these more for homes well most or? i think most people for second uh, their second car and a lot of them want to downsize they don't want to have the big class a's the class c's uh the class b's has got to be real popular because you can take them any place you want to do mm -hmm. and um, where you want to camp at walmart for the night or any place uh, you don't have to level the vehicle and you can just go and uh, and enjoy what you have inside here you don't have to have all the fancy stuff but most of the people anymore like oh I don't know they just like everything uh, I, I don't know what I want to use the word the luxury I guess maybe mm -hmm and so that way it don't have to do a lot of this stuff and a lot of the ladies don't want to do uh, have to cook and things you know mm -hmm. they can just pull off the side of the road and fix their meal right now and it's done for absolutely so and uh so so but. you've been with sportsmobile since 76 yep and so you've seen Sportsmobile probably go from this very, very small company. Yeah, this is the original shop right here in, in Huntington, in Huntington, Indiana. Really? Yeah. The gentleman that started Sportsmobile lives in Austin, Texas. Is where he lives. And at the time, like I said, we was doing Volkswagens uh, at the time. And then we start doing what the travel van, the four seats and the sofa which was real popular. In other words, it took the place of the minivan or whatever, you know, at them, them years. And it was real popular back 80, 85, someplace in there. And then eventually we started, it got to be such a competitive market, we just went ahead and started doing what we call a Class B motorhome, where that way people designed it the way they wanted it. And, that's, and some of them, they didn't want a lot of stuff, Sometimes we just put a top on if that's all they want or maybe a few windows and that's it and the rest of them want to do their stuff themselves, which is fine with us. So are you finding yourself being more busy than ever now? Like is We this... have always been busy. We might have slowed down back when the recession hit in 79 and 80s, but uh, we have just been steady all year long. We, we just... Uh, the only time we might close would be a couple of days at Thanksgiving and a week at Christmas. It's the only time. And Everything it's been else, ever since. yes, holidays or whatever you know. It, we're always here, basically all the time. So, do, do you have a, a sportsmobile? No, I have a sportsmobile. I, all the ones, they're just fascinating because I never know what the people's going to put in them, uh, but. Uh, they're very nice to drive. I've had maybe a weekend uh, camping with one, and it's nice. It really is nice. You pull off into a campground, push the top up, sleep there next morning, take off. You don't have to worry about all that stuff. And uh, as far as the gas mileage, it's good. I mean, most of this is a diesel, but it gets 22, but most of them would get 18, someplace in there, 17, 18 with the gas. But uh, the diesel has just got to be a very popular unit, especially with the Mercedes right now. Mm -hmm. So, and it's sad over the years that Ford quit making the Econoline because it was such a popular van. And now they've come out with the Transit and we're starting to do some, but it just took a while for people to get used to the Transit. So the Mercedes chassis is your... Oh, oh yes, it's a big thing. Big thing. People like do you like working on the Mercedes? Oh, yes. 
so much. In fact, my crew does too. <laughs> it's so so much, and things are more straighter. They they're not so much curved and things like you did the older vans and things. And they're they're well built. The Mercedes. Th throughout the years, Mercedes is the best one you ever yes. worked on. We started doing the Mercedes back in 2007 when they changed. Now they had them earlier. Uh, but 2007 is basically when we started doing more of them. Gotcha. So it's come very, very popular van. They're ex sometimes they're a little more expensive, but I, it's just the name of that Mercedes I think people like. It, it's been very interesting work. Uh, the people has been so nice. You meet so many different people, uh, professions. You never know what they're going to the be you might have a writer and they, I've never met no uh, you know uh, big celebrity or anything but we used to I used to go to shows like in Chicago Indianapolis but back then that was back in the 80 85 when we uh, the Chicago Bears won the <laughs> Super Bowl you know and got to meet some of them people and things like that but it was uh, it was real interesting that uh, but then we decided uh, the shows we got kind of tired of them because of we really didn't need the publicity you know because people got to know Sportsmobile and anytime somebody wants a Class B motorhome Sportsmobile pops right up right on the internet yeah right now yeah and we do so much special stuff now there comes a point sometimes I gotta say I'm sorry no we can't do this vehicle because it's just something that's way out of our league yeah you know like a limousine limousine service huh -uh. we're not we don't want to get into fancy stuff and limousines and stuff like for airports nah. so, so where where do you see the uh the future of sportsmobile oh i think sportsmobile will be around here for who knows how long as long as there's uh, motorhomes out there sports that's right. going to be there yeah for people that want it the way they want it. I mean, there's other places that does Class B, but they won't change their conversion. Sportsmobile will. You know, you take it or leave it when, with the other people. Us, we do what we do to a certain extent. I mean, they got to use Sportsmobile's appliances and all that type of stuff because I won't get into using somebody else's hot water heater or that. It's not approved. We got, we're our VIA members and we got to stay by what their rules. So, and it's just like Mercedes with there too, cause we're an upfitter. And if we're not approved by Mercedes, we won't be able to do their units because the liability factor is very, <laughs> it's something you got to be aware of nowadays. Cool, well thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome.